Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video, another day in the crazy world of sports card collecting. This is going to be round two, part two, of the uh, the guy that was caught essentially stealing from the sports card uh, national. I was able to obtain the police reports, exclusive stuff here guys. I was able to obtain the police report and uh, kind of goes a little bit more detail uh, referencing what happened. So we got exclusive stuff here, guys. It's not that exclusive. It's actually public records, but uh, for the sake of uh, some dramatic effect here, uh, we'll call it exclusive. So this first page, there's there's some stuff blocked out of here, guys, too. So there's no, it's not super detailed, um, but it does give us a little bit more knowledge on what happened. So there's a brief synopsis at the bottom here. A male offender still approximately... 100 miscellaneous sports cards from the victim. All cards had a total value of approximately 400 bucks. The guy was charged with uh, misdemeanor retail theft. And that's about it for this page. So not a lot of uh, information on here, but we'll get into the report itself. So I'm just glad that they were able to actually get all the cards uh, that they at least stole from that booth back from the guy. Uh, misdemeanor theft. I don't, I'm not. It doesn't say a bond on here either. I'm gonna assume maybe 300 bucks. Just to, just a guess there. So, uh, but we do have the police report as well. So I'll just give you guys a brief synopsis. Uh, this top portion here just kind of states that the the officer involved was uh, dispatched to the Steven the Donald A. Stevens Convention Center. He must have been outside or something like that, um, and was informed by. Uh, the, uh, the officers on scene that you see in the video that they had the offender in custody, uh, we'll call him John Doe, uh, more so known as Blue Polo Tattoo Old Guy. Uh, the officer stated that the offender stole approximately $100, uh, excuse me, 100 miscellaneous sports cards from the victim. Uh, it goes on to say that uh, he spoke with a witness on the scene who stated that uh, the offender came up to their booth and began moving miscellaneous cards around. He was watching him for a few minutes and uh, apparently gained a vantage point because I guess he was suspicious of the guy, but that he was observing him from approximately 20 feet away. He then uh, he then observed uh, Tattoo Polo Dude uh, place the uh, what appeared to be an eyeglass case over s stacks of cards and put them in the case and then quickly place the cards into his backpack. So we got a professional here, guys. Professional thief, it looks like. Uh, the witness stated that he then called for security to come to his booth. Uh, the officers arrived and found $100, uh, excuse me, 100 cards that belonged uh, to this booth inside the backpack. At this point, he was placed into custody and brought into the security office of the convention center. While waiting for the arrival of more officers, I uh, did a thorough search of the property and found approximately 100 more miscellaneous sports cards inside the backpack, it sounds like. At this point, uh, they contacted show management, so the people that are running the national, and uh, listed contact, uh, the, essentially the director of security, took the cards and uh, because there was no victims present. So I'm guessing that the, the guy that runs the national, uh, they probably posted them somewhere uh, so that people could see if, I mean, if they had cards stolen, that maybe those were theirs. So uh, tattooed blue polo old dude was informed at his court about his court date. And he informed me that uh, he allowed, allowed him to sign him complaints of retail theft on his behalf. While still on the scene at the convention center, this is kind of big. Tattooed Blue Polo Old Dude was issued a lifetime trespass warning. So he is no longer allowed at the National or apparently at the Donald Day Stevens Convention Center. So he's given that warning. If he returns, uh, he'll be subject to other charges, it looks like. At this point, he was taken from the scene in the squad car and transported to the Rosemount Police Department. He's read his Miranda rights, um, and he stated that he had previously bought all those cards, it looks like, uh, but he was unable to provide proof of purchase for anything on the scene. So 
He was fingerprinted and processed for retail theft. And uh, he posted his bond, it, sound, it looks like, as well, at, on the scene at the, uh, the police department there. And he was issued all his paperwork consist consisting of his bond receipt, copy of the complaint, and provided with his court information. So, short, sweet, and to the point for a police report as well, guys. But, wow. I also, so, so he is banned, which is good. Getting, getting charged with the retail theft. And, uh... It's just good to see justice being being served on that on that. I, mean, I know that the booth. Um, I know that those guys were happy he got caught too. Awesome on their part for keeping an eye on the guy and uh, actually noticing that he was kind of up to no good. So all around, I'm content with this. Hopefully, this deters people from thinking that they can get away with stealing from these sports card shows. Uh, because they're really kind of they're just ruining it for the rest of us so we'll see how that goes hopefully he pleads guilty lifetime ban sucks and uh super embarrassing as well i mean the guy's plastered everywhere so i think that we're getting some justice here for sure guys i also did hear that um that that the the little badge thing that he was wearing around his neck uh, and this is through a, a gentleman that uh, contacted me on reddit that knows the people that were at that booth uh he was saying that uh the the badge on his neck was actually like a um one for the vendors themselves so someone actually probably must have given him that uh because the guy was not a vendor at all so maybe there's there's like a little scheme going on uh, between multiple multiple people there but that's just what i heard so yeah just wanted to give you guys an update as to what happened there, like I said, was able to obtain the police report and justice being served, guys. So this probably isn't the guy's first time doing this. Hopefully it's his last, but uh, at least he was caught. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the support, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the little follow-up I was able to give you guys on this story. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll have I'll have the uh, the sports car haul that I, I accumulated while at the national for you, but I thought I'd get you guys this information as well. So, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.